the Pistons themselves, I wrote that number eight on there. Uh, Pistons themselves are, in, well, so far in pretty good shape. Obviously filthy and disgusting. What is going on guys? Welcome back. We're here. It is the next day and we are going to finish getting this crank out and uh, hopefully tonight finish getting this block torn down. Uh, so this way uh, we got some heads we're picking up this weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got some heads we're picking up this weekend and we're trying to, I'm trying to have everything all set up, everything I'm going to need to send it all out to the machine shop uh, to get that going. So, first things first, I need to get this block torn down and get that going, guys. So, uh, for those of you who did not, or just tuning in, uh, already got pretty much everything ready to go on the bottom end here. Uh, I got some, a couple of rods here. This one was the one with our scorch rod bearing. Um, got that ready to come out. So, we just got to finish taking off these caps, or excuse me, these... Uh, Blah, 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 uh rod bolts on these last uh six cylinders and then uh the crank should just come right out guys so stay tuned we're about to get to that right now alrighty guys so and the slight is gonna kill me. All right, guys. So uh, we got the crank out, crank out, right there. Uh, so like I said, probably gonna sell this. I mean, it's not in bad shape. I'm not gonna lie to anyone and say that it was in perfect running condition. I'm just gonna post it for sale. Say what I found because I was just staring at a part, <clears throat> and whatever. You know, I don't. I don't really care. Uh, so yeah, so we already got one piston out, guys. Uh, the pistons themselves, I wrote that number eight on there. Uh, pistons themselves are, in, well, so far in pretty good shape. Obviously filthy and disgusting, um, but they're not too bad. So uh, we're just gonna keep doing that, guys. Gonna finish tearing these down. Tearing this out, I should say. Um, I'm gonna start. Just re-putting like the rod bearings back in there. Um, and I'm just, like I said, I'm just gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it as it is for however much uh, someone's willing to give me. So yeah, guys, uh, just stay tuned. We're gonna finish tearing this apart. Get all these uh, pistons and rods out here. And then we're gonna rotate this over so we can pull that cam out, guys. We'll be right back with that. Alrighty guys, crank and pistons and rods are out. This thing is absolutely filthy. Like I said, we're going to machine shop. So uh, now what I got to do is I got to flip it over. Um, which means I got to pull this pin out again. That's going to be a task. I'm going to need both hands for that. So I'm going to just speed through it. I'm going to flip this over and then uh, get started on pulling this cam out guys. Alrighty guys, so, sorry, to bring you guys up here for this, Let's see if I can, somehow can make that delete sometimes. Alright, so to pull out the cam, um, just gotta take out these four bolts, these should be a 10 mil, I'll verify that. Six point if you can, unfortunately I've literally lost every single 10 mil I've ever owned, so this is the last one. Uh, so yeah, so we're just gonna pop these off and then I'll probably just end up putting these three uh, bolts off of the um, uh, Off of the gear or timing chain gear um, To be able to pull it out a little bit easier um, One thing you're gonna want to do as well is just make sure you get your lifters out and uh, 
these are pretty well in there so um could be tougher so um we're gonna do that right now and then we'll be back with you guys Alrighty guys, so I'm going to attempt to show you guys this one-handed here. Uh, we are not reusing any of these lifters for obvious reasons. I mean, this thing is, let's see once I pull it out, the junk. Um, good way to pull them out if you're not reusing them is who cares about them. So I'm just going to kind of try to wiggle them a bit. Okay, it works for half of it. I got about halfway out. If you could see that, maybe not. But uh, I'm, my thing is covered in oil. My handy dandy pliers. Clean those up a bit. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Um, another way you can do this is kind of beating it up from the inside. No. Let me just show you guys that from down in here. If I can get it to. Sorry. So if you hit it from. It's up in there. If you hit it from this side, if you're not going to reuse it. Uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Obviously, just try not to hit your block. Scratch any of that up. Yeah. See, try not to do that. But, anyways, let's see if I can get this one spinning. Yeah, so this one right here. Just grab it and spin it a bit. Let it wiggle. And yeah. Um, it's gonna be really hard for me to do this one-handed guys um so i'm just gonna go ahead and set the camera down we're gonna go ahead and get these lifters out all righty guys it's official <clears throat> the block is all the way torn down lifters are out so I'll tell you guys what i ended up doing so they're not in like the worst shape Let's see if you can get a good look on them here Got this light glaring. Thank you. I might not be able to see them too well, but they're not in the worst shape. But kind of nasty in here, super sludgy. Um, and we're just we're just not gonna reuse these. Um, so guys, uh, with that being said, I'm just gonna can these or give them away whenever I sell the other stuff. I mean, I don't need them. If somebody ever wants to try and clean them up and use them, then they can. But uh, yeah guys so that's it for the block that is it finally um this was our cylinder with the rod knock and i mean just feeling the inside it was pretty okay very nasty but it seems okay it still has cross cross hashing um so i'm not super worried about any of that all the cylinders look good uh yeah, so look over on this side real quick. That one's over here. And you don't see any scarring or marring or anything like that. Um, like I said, most of these still have some cross, ha cross hashing on it. Um, so again, not super, super worried about it. Um, but uh, we are still going to go send it out, uh, get it cleaned up get everything kind of looking oem kind of clean us up and decide if i'm gonna paint the block or not uh, i might since it's iron but um yeah guys so just stay tuned uh we're gonna be going to this uh to the machine shop here soon the reason i have the gloves on not normally one for gloves but if you guys have dealt with sludge you guys know that that stuff is just disgusting and horrible to get off um so I'm just using the gloves so I don't 
get all sludgy because you know I have to work and stuff like that too uh, throughout the week. So uh, yeah guys with that being said we're gonna put a cap on this for now since we're done with that and we're gonna focus on the next thing that we need to get this thing to the shop. Alrighty guys so like I said uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, just a quick little recap. Uh, we got the 6.0 completely torn down. I had to move it over for something else, but uh, it's completely torn down. It's ready to go to the shop. I actually do have to get this two sensors off here. Um, but other than that, it's 100% ready to go. Um, I think I've decided that I am going to paint the block. Only reason being is because it's iron. Uh, iron kind of gets like this oxidized type of color on it. Um, and <clears throat> I'm going to be running aluminum heads, so... It's gonna like be half rusty. I, it's more of an appearance thing. It doesn't really benefit, I guess, too much. Um, apart from just looking a little bit crisper, a little bit cleaner. Uh, but hey guys, so with that being said, we're getting ready to send it to the shop here soon. Just gotta get some parts. Uh, have everything kind of in order to go to the shop. But yeah, with that being said guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button, click the little bell notification to be notified anytime we post a new video, guys. So with that being said, just remember, if anyone ever asks you why you do what you do, you let them know. It's just because, and I'll catch y'all next time.